Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Hannah, and um, today we're going to do a stitch with me. Um, this one's going to be a regular, sorry, dog drinking in the background. Um, this one's going to be a regular stitch with me today. Um, I am working on Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Um, it's a super size max color version, and um, it is charted by Hade. The artwork is by Amy Stewart. I'm sure all of you know that. <laughs> um, the husband is away getting his, I don't know what to call it, his feet tested. <laughs> he is at a shoe store, um, and they are going to fit him either for insoles or for new shoes. And <clears throat> so yeah, so he's doing that this morning and I am just going to be home until he's done with that. He's also gonna be going to the grocery store this morning. Um, first time in a while, I've been doing a lot of the shopping, the going out recently and doing things. So it's kind of nice not to, oh no, I need, I need a color. It's gonna get a little loud, sorry. Gotta bring the, bring the bag up here, full of all of my flosses. Oh, it's gonna be loud, sorry guys. That's not it. Where is it? Where is the bag of flosses that I need? Not it either. Those are 900s. Okay, don't need 900s, there it is. I'm trying to keep this as quiet as I can. <laughs> It's not very quiet, so sorry, everybody. Um, Should have known I needed this color before I started filming, huh? <coughs> That's okay. I have 3371. This uh, pattern uses quite a bit of 3371, so. Gotta rebobinate. I feel like I was rebobinating in my last video too. <laughs> constantly rebobinating um okay so yeah so today he is going to the grocery store um we're gonna go hiking right now I am um stitching for um the game dragon dragon dynasty dynasty of dragons sorry and um we are in an ostrich joust right now <laughs> and I said that to my husband this morning and he was like uh, okay. And, um, yeah, so we are ostrich jousting. And it's just funny to me. <laughs> Could you imagine riding an ostrich? Um, so yeah, so we're doing that. And I figured I would do probably two tags today. They are not stitching related tags. Um, I feel like while I like the stitching related tags, I also think that there's been so many people who do them. Um, I've done one and I think it could be fun to like branch out, do, a, do something that's not related to stitching while we're stitching. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping the angle on, oh, I keep hitting you, sorry. I'm hoping the angle on this is okay. Um, I was gonna put the angle to the other side of where I sit but I realized real fast that I hit the camera a lot <laughs> when it's on the other side of me. So I'm not doing that. Not today. I'm probably not ever because if it's on that side of me, I will constantly hit it. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. It seemed like it was okay in my um, True Crime Stitchy Time video. So we'll see um, if you can see what I'm doing. I might need to zoom in a little bit, but I saw when I was zooming in, it was hard to see the areas I might be in 
Now, granted, I'm only in one area right now because I only work in one area at a time. But um, let's see if I can zoom you in. There's a little bit. I just don't want you to be, because I'm working right here, I don't want you to not be able to see what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, yeah, I thought I would do two tags, probably two. I think one of them is going to be pretty, pretty quick. And I thought it was a fun, kind of funny little tag to do. Um, I don't know if it's a tag, but it's a, it's a, it's a question thing. Um, and we'll see how long that goes. And then if it's, if it's not long enough, if I feel like it's not long enough, then I can uh, do the second thing I was going to do. Not the second thing. I was going to answer some questions that are... Nobody's asked me these questions, but um, I think I mentioned it before. Tess sent me um, some questions that she, I believe, is answering. I think she started answering them in her, in, in her stitch with me. And I was like, oh, I might just do that. It's a lot of questions, like 300 something questions, <laughs> I think, something like that. So let's get started with the first quote unquote tag um, that I have here. And this one is called the accent tag. And I think that's hilarious because I don't, I mean, I know everybody has kind of an accent. Um, but I don't think that, I think, you know, if you, if you heard me speak, at least this is a personal opinion and you could have a very different opinion, but if you heard me speak and I didn't tell you where I was from, I don't know if you'd be able to guess where I was from. Um, I don't think I sound specifically like I'm from a location. Um, but I could be wrong. Maybe I, maybe I do. Um, I just don't. I just don't think I do. Um, I might take a couple of minutes, not minutes, but a couple seconds, you know, on occasion to, to count. So sorry if, <laughs> if I'm stopped for a minute counting. Um, okay. So this one's the accent tag. So the first question is, what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? And we call it TPing a house. So you TP a house, aka toilet paper, TP a house. I don't know if there's some other phrase for it um, or some other word for it, but that's what we call it here. The second one is, what is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? We've always called them roly polies. Um, I'm again not sure what else they're called. Um, I I think I've heard other other words for them, but roly poly is what I grew up calling them. I'm not sure if that's common, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> okay, uh, the next one is this one. I this one's controversial. <laughs> I know there's been controversy over this one. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? We call it soda. Um, I know there are places that call it pop. There are places that call it. Uh, what do they call it? Cola. Um, but we call it soda. And that is any kind of bubbly carbonated drink. It's not just like, you know, Coca-Cola or, um, you know, whatnot. It is any, any bubbly carbonated drink. Is, well, I guess not any because... We could also have a bubbly carbonated drink, and it's the, um, what is it called? Soda water? I mean, so I guess in a way it is soda, 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 um, it is soda, um, but it's, it's soda water. 
um oh, i think 801 801 um but yeah soda and then the next one is what do you call gym shoes um i call them sneakers um you can also call them tennis shoes i know i've called them tennis shoes before but for the most part i think i stick with sneakers um trainers i know is something that they are called on occasion i've heard runners um which i think would confuse me because <laughs> some people are run and we call them runners uh so do runners wear runners <laughs> um okay the next one what do you say to address a group of people <laughs> this one I didn't really understand the question um because I wasn't sure if they were looking for like something fairly specific or very general because I would just say hi <laughs> I mean I don't I don't think I would address them differently than I would one person I mean maybe I would say hi all um I know there's like a hey y'all but some people would say that um I might say that but more likely I would say hi all um or hello hello everyone um like I do here you know Hey, 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 everybody. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> I'm not really sure what they're going for there, but... Down one. Six and down one. Um, okay. The next one is... What do you call the kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? Well, we call them daddy long legs. <laughs> so we have roly-poly and daddy long legs. Um, that I think is what they're, the thing that they're asking about, which when they say spider-like Creature. I'm not really sure I understand why they're saying spider-like creature because I think that a daddy long legs is a spider so it's not spider-like so I was a little bit confused um, unless they're looking for something else like centipede but I don't think I would call I don't think they have extremely long legs so I think I think they're going for daddy long legs there the next one is um, what do you call your grandparents? Now this one, it depends. Um, on my mom's side, we call them grandma and grandpa. Now they're, both of my grandparents, uh, have passed. So we don't call them anything anymore, but we did call them grandma and grandpa. Um, and then on my dad's side, we call them granny and granddaddy. Um, so I think it, depends which side which side of the family um now my mom is from scotland um and she grew up in singapore and england and you know she kind of grew up all over the place but she is scottish um she sounds more british than scottish like, if you listened to her speak, if you listened to my grandparents when they were still alive, if you listened to them speak, you would probably think that they were from, you know, England more than Scotland. Um, because they don't necessarily, they didn't sound S Scottish. Um, but they lived in Edinburgh. So, I think some of the things I say definitely have some influence from that um, and so that's I think part of the reason why we saw we we called my grandparents on my mom's side grandma and grandpa um, because it was I guess more pop po uh, more proper um, and then my dad's side was from Virginia here in the US and so we called them granny and granddaddy and my grandfather on my dad's side, my granddaddy, he passed when I was pretty young. Um, but my grandmother on my dad's side 
didn't pass too many years ago. She was, she was the second. So my grandparents on my mom's side, um, hung, hung around for a little bit longer. Um, and my grandfather passed on my mom's side, not too long ago. I think about a little, maybe two years ago, a little over a year ago, year and a half ago, something like that. Um, cause it was a little bit before I got married that he passed. Don't start barking, please. Hey, don't, please don't. Jax, sorry, <laughs> come here, come here. That's fine, you stay there then. Just don't start barking. It's gonna be a pain, it's gonna be a pain. Um, okay, the next one. What do you call the wheeled, wait, hold on, where did my needle go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? And here's where I found it really funny. I'm wondering who wrote this because um, there's also lots of different ways to say supermarket. Because um, I know we don't necessarily call them supermarkets here. Um, we call them grocery stores. I just mentioned it at the beginning of the video. Um, especially when they say when you carry groceries. And I'm like, oh, we don't call them supermarkets. We call them grocery stores. Um, so it's just funny that this is a, you know, accent tag or whatever. And they call it a supermarket. And I say, and I call it a grocery store. Anyway, what do we call that? Um, I call it a trolley. And that's definitely um, from my mother. Because my mother calls them trolleys. I know that... Um, I think most people here call them carts, um, but I don't. <laughs> I call it a trolley. Um, two more, and then I have to read a couple words. Um, what is it, or what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I should have looked this one up to actually know if there's a word for it. I don't know that there's a word. I didn't know that there was a word for it. Um, I do know that when the sun's shining and rain is falling, usually you'll see a rainbow, but that's the extent, that's, that's the extent of what I know. <laughs> I didn't know that there was a word for this. Um, if you know what the word is, let me know, because I have no idea. Um, What's the next one? The last one is, what is the thing you change the TV channel with? Um, a remote? I think that's, I mean, I don't know if I've heard another word for it before. Um, I think remote is the only word I've ever heard. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, we call, I call it a remote. Um, sometimes we use a, what are they called? The gaming things? But I'm going to say remote for that one. So that's the last question. But there are a couple of words that I have to read, I guess, to see how, how I say them. So I'm going to read the list of words. So I'm going to pause pause my stitching for a minute. Okay, so the words are aunt, roof, root, wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, sure, data, ruin, crayon, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, not, uh, caught, naturally, aluminum, an envelope. So those are the, the words. So it's kind of fun. I don't know if I say them differently than, I mean, I do know like aluminium is how my mother says aluminum. Um, that's the, like one of the words I never caught on because aluminium just seems so much harder. <laughs> harder to say. Um, and I know it's actually spelled, I believe it's actually spelled differently um, than how we spell aluminum. I think we spell it wrong. 
I'm pretty sure that it should be the way that it's spelled in in Europe, uh, in, you know, England and over there. Uh, but I could be wrong. I mean, it could be that it is supposed to be spelled the way we spell it, but I'm pretty sure that it's spelled two different ways, um, depending on where you're, where you're located. Um, and I know New Orleans, um, New Orleans, New Orleans, New, is that the only two ways that you can say it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I know some people say oil differently. Um, I used to have a boyfriend that used to call oil ol. He would just say ol. And I, the first time he said it, I was like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. Um, and he was like, the thing, you know, you put in your car. He was like, gas. <laughs> and then I finally realized he was saying oil. And he used to say flower. Um, he used to say flower like flare. And again, I had no idea what he was saying. I thought he was saying flare, like the thing you put in the road after you've had a car accident. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what the heck you're saying. Uh, and he finally was like, you know, the things that grow. <laughs> it's like flower. Um, yeah. And then crayon, I know, is one of them that I've heard people say differently. Um, I think some people have said crown. And I don't understand that one. Um, there's four. Because there's definitely an A-Y-O in there. So crayon, not crown. Crown is C-R-O-W-N, <laughs> in my opinion. But, um, you know, everybody says things differently and it's dependent on where you're from. But um, that was the accent tag. So if you're inclined to do it. I would say go ahead. I'd love to hear how people say some things. Um, I hope that you can still see what I'm doing, kind of, as much as you can, I think. Um, I'm trying to keep my hand as much out of the way as I can. Um, okay, so the next tag that I'm going to do, oh geez, that didn't work. The next tag that I'm going to do is the pet tag. And I wanted to do this one because, I don't know, I love talking about my pets. <laughs> um, so we'll do it and um, we can learn more about my pets, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer some of these questions, but we'll see. So what is your pet's name? I'm actually going to talk about two. Technically, I have three. Um, my cat. But my cat is with my parents, so I'm not necessarily going to talk about her. Um, but I will talk about my dog and my horse. Because those are the two pets that are, I feel like, really my pets. My cat is more like a family pet. Um... Not that my dog isn't, but my dog came with me when I moved in with my husband. Um, well, he was my then boyfriend, fiance. Um, but, you know, we have gotten married since then. <laughs> if you haven't watched my videos, you you uh, might not know that. But if you have watched my videos, you definitely know we've gotten married since I work on my wedding piece every Sunday. Um Okay, so, yeah, so what is my pet's name? Um, well, my dog is named Jax. You could hear me yelling at him a minute ago. <laughs> and my horse's name is Fitz. Um, F-I-T-S. Which is funny because most people are like, oh, you would think it was a Z. Because I know people spell Fitz with a Z. Um, but we'll get into, actually, the next question is, how did you come up with the name, and does it have any specific significance? So, for my dog, for Jax, uh, that's the name he came with. Um, we adopted him. Well, I adopted him. 
and his name was already Jax. He had, he was about a year, he was a little over a year old, so I didn't necessarily want to change it and confuse him. I know people do, I know people change names, their pets' names, you know, often when they adopt them, um, but I didn't, I didn't feel the need, so we just kept his name. So he has been Jax forever. And then my horse, her name has also been Fitz forever. She she came with the name Fitz. Um, but for horses, so I don't know how many of you know anything about horses um, or race horses. But she is a, I think this is an answer to one of the questions. But um, she is a race horse. She's an ex-race ex horse. So she's a thoroughbred. And um, racers, when they race, they have something called a racing name. Um, and it's not the name that you would necessarily call them on the day to day. It's just the name that you enter them as. And, um, then they have like their stable name. And, um, so her stable name has always been Fitz, F-I-T-S. And her racing name was Throws a Fit. And... I, when I got her, you know, she wasn't a racehorse at that point anymore. She had, she had retired. Um, unfortunately, the, because she wasn't winning enough or ever, I'm not sure if she ever won, but because she, I just, I just un, just took my needle off by accident. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, so she wasn't winning or getting any money for, you know, her owner, her stable, um, I think I just got a knot. Nope, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, they unfortunately sent her to, uh, fair warning to everybody, this is maybe an uncomfortable situation for some people to listen to, but they unfortunately sent her to a, a you know, a, a kill um, auction. And the rescue that... I picked her up from, had saved her from that situation, and they took her back to the rescue, and she was there for a while, and then I went and looked at some of the horses there, and um, I, took, I took her home that same day, which is funny, because we thought we weren't going to necessarily bring any, we brought our trailer, just in case, but we didn't necessarily think we were going to bring a horse home that day. Um, so we brought her home for her, like, trial period. Um, I didn't need the trial period. I knew. <laughs> I knew. It was kind of like getting a car. You, you kind of know um, if you like it or not, right? Um, and how can you... I just... I always feel so bad. It's, it's like, how can you take an animal and then give it back? I don't know. I wouldn't be able to. So I didn't. <laughs> um, but when I brought her home... And I signed all the paperwork and everything. Um, and she got her, her vet check and all of the things. Um, you know, they asked me, do you want to keep her racing name? Um, because I did three-day eventing. And when you do three-day, it's a very similar thing. You enter them with a name. Um, and they were like, do you want to keep her race name? And I said, absolutely not, because she is so far from throwing fits. She doesn't throw fits. Um, she does kind of now if you try to get on her because she has a very bad back. Um, so it's it's uncomfortable for her. But she didn't, you know, when she was younger. And <laughs> I was like, absolutely not. She is not that. She's not that horse. Um, hold on one second. Let me count. Where am I? Um, so they were like, okay, well, what do you want to change it to? And I said, I want to change it to Fitz Like a Glove. And so we changed her show name to Fitz Like a Glove. And so we just kept her stable name as Fitz. So that's a long winded story on why her name is significant. Um, and how we came up with it. <laughs> um, and Jax is, is very short and doesn't have a story behind it. <laughs> Four. 
Okay, how old is your pet? Mm, this is a good question. We're not really sure how old either of them are. Um, for, for real, I mean, we don't really know because neither of them are um, purebred anything. Uh, I mean, my horse is a purebred thoroughbred, but she is not, we, we don't know enough about her because we don't really know her history um, because we adopted her. And then my dog, we adopted him too. So we're not really sure what his history is either. Um, he's probably, Jax is probably like seven or eight at this point. Um, he's not, he's not super, I mean, he's not super old. He's a big dog, but he's not, I mean, he acts like, he acts like he's one. Um, so he's probably around seven or eight. And Fitz, mm, that's a good question. Um, we're not, we're not sure. But I've had her since I was, what, 14? So 12 years. She was, was I 14? How old was I? Um, sorry, I just got a text message. My husband is done with his shoe appointment already. Um, I don't know. 14. Maybe I was 14. What, I'm 26 now. So, 12 years. I got her when she was 5. So she's, she can't be that old. Maybe I got her when I was closer to 15 or 16. So let's just say about 10 years now. No, it's been longer than that because... Yeah, it's been longer than that because I definitely had, like, something come up that said 12 or 11 or 12 years ago about my horse on Facebook. So let's go with 12 years. And I got her when she was about 5, um, we think. She was about 4 or 5. So she's she's about, she's about 17 um, now, probably. She's getting up there in age. Um, she's not a young spry thing anymore. <laughs> um, but I, so we're, we're not sure exactly how old they are, but, um, and then the next one is when did you get your pet? So like I said, my horse, I think it's been like 12 years ish. It's been 11 or 12 years. Um, cause I got her when I was a teenager. Um, and the dog, Jax, when did I get you? <laughs> I want to say I got him about five or six, five, six, five to seven years ago. I don't remember exactly, um, but not recently. Neither of them, neither of them are recent. <laughs> I don't really keep track of when, you know, when I got them, um, purely because it doesn't necessarily matter to me um, how long I've had them, per se. Um, it just matters that, you know, they're here. That's what matters to me. Um, what breed is your pet? I should probably, like, stitch, shouldn't I? I'm having fun just talking. Um, what breed is your pet? Um, my horse I mentioned, she's a thoroughbred. Um, I want to say... I want to say pure thoroughbred, but, you know, I could be wrong. They could be wrong. Nobody really, nobody really knows. Um, her paperwork says she's a thoroughbred. <laughs> so I'm going to go with that. Um, my dog, he is a mutt. Um, he is probably a bunch of different things. Um, he has the head of a, of a bully breed, but he is not short and stout like a bully breed. He is quite long and tall. So he's got hound in him. Um, his paws are really giant, so we think he's got some sort of possibly like Great Dane mix in there somewhere. Um, but we're not we're not sure. We usually just say he's a pit bull because you know that's m mainly what he looks like with his giant watermelon head <laughs> um, and his big goofy big goofy smile. Um, how old were you when you got your pet? Like I said, with my horse, I think I was about 14 or 15. So it's been, it's been a while. Um, I had her middle school through 
now, you know. So I've had her for quite, quite a while. Um, my dog, like I said, I think I got him five to seven years ago. So I was about 20. Might have been a little younger, might have been a little older, but I was around 20 years old. Um, yeah. Because I think it was about a year before I met my husband that I got him. Um, so I might have been 19. Because I, I know I met my husband when I was 20 and then I turned 20. It was pretty close to when I turned 21. So I might have been 19, almost 20 when I got the dog. The dog. <laughs> when I got Jax. Um, <clears throat> hold on one second. Let me count. Um, sorry, I hit the camera. Okay. What is your pet's favorite food? Well, the dog, mm, his favorite food, I think, is uh, chicken, grilled chicken. He really likes grilled chicken, but he also really likes pizza. Um, <laughs> really, his favorite food is anything that we're eating, <laughs> um, except for green beans. He does not like green beans. Um, he He's really not a fan of green beans. He will spit them out. <laughs> he really doesn't like them. Um, my horse, uh, she's a big fan of, um, what are they called? Nature Valley bars, uh, carrots, apples, peppermints, sugar cubes. I mean, you know, all of the, all of the things that, you know, normal, I feel like normal horses enjoy. Um, and it's funny that a lot of people don't actually realize that sugar cubes and peppermints are things that horses like. Um, and also Nature Valley bars, um, because they are, you know, oat bars um, with a lot of sugar in them. They really like those. Um, so I'd say those are probably her favorites. Um, she also likes stud muffins. <laughs> That's what they're called. That's the brand. <laughs> they're called stud muffins. I don't know if that's the brand, but that's the that's what they're called. They're like these little oat rolls that have molasses in them. That like the molasses keeps the oats all together. Um, she loves those. So stud muffins are also one of her favorites. Okay. What is your pet's favorite game? Mm, I don't think my horse has a favorite game. I don't think she plays a whole lot of games uh so i'm not going to answer that question for her because i don't really have an answer but my my dog his favorite game is guppy what's your favorite game um oh and that'll be an answer to something <laughs> way later um favorite game his favorite game is tug tug of war i would i would say um, because he likes when you throw his toys, but if he gets his toy, uh, he won't let go. He's like, you pull, pull on it and he'll, he'll bring it to you and he'll like force you to take it, but he won't let go. So <laughs> I would say tug is his favorite game. Um, what is your favorite thing to do together? Um, I would say my horse and I, our favorite thing was obviously to go out riding. Um, she loved going on trails um, and riding through the woods. And it's, I love doing that too. So I would say that was probably our favorite thing. Again, we don't really do it anymore because she's not, she, she can't, she can't do it. Um, she has a bad back. She also has uh, an issue with her feet um, that is unfortunately unfixable. Um, it will eventually... Um, get bad enough that it, you know, we might have to think about options um, on on how to make her more comfortable, um, or you know, the op the the inevitable, unfortunately. But um, it's 
she's had this issue for so long that it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, I'm ready for, I'm ready for it. Um, I know you're not truly ready for it ever, but if the day came, you know, I would be, I would be able to say, okay. Um, but yeah, our, our favorite thing to do was go trails, go riding on the trails. And then my dog, I think kind of a very similar thing. Our favorite thing to do is go hiking. Um, we are actually going to go do that later today when my husband gets home. Um, we're going to go out hiking all together in the state park. And then we're going to go get ice cream. And he loves ice cream. We will go to our favorite little ice cream store. Um, they make their own ice cream. They have cows. Ah, ah, ah. Please don't. Jax. 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 Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. Lay down, please. Lay down, please. Lay down, please. Lay down down please thank you um sorry for the interruptions um i just don't want to have to stop the video <laughs> to deal with this eight eight one two two and eight two three four five six seven eight okay um, so yeah, so we have this little ice cream place that we like to go to. So we're going to go there today and they have their own cows and all of those things. Um, do you go outdoors? If yes, where's your favorite place to go together? So yeah, to both. Um, I've never brought my horse inside before. <laughs> I mean, maybe in a barn, but, um, but yes, we do go outdoors. Uh, she lives outside. <laughs> Uh, and like I said, our favorite place to go was to go on the trails um, up by her, where she lived. There, She was attached to the state park, so we'd go into the state park. And then my dog, same same situation. Uh, we'd go to the state, we go to the state park. We go riding in the, or we go walking in the state park. I don't ride my dog usually. Um, what is a bad habit that your pet has? Um, bad habit is, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a habit. It's more like one of his stressors, um, is he barks at everything when he's inside. Uh, there's a leaf blowing in the wind. Uh, he'll bark at it. Um, he is very vocal, um, and he's a big dog. So he has a very loud, very loud bark. Um, and it can be unruly sometimes. So I'd say that's one of the bad, I guess, habits that he has and I know it's because of stress and I'm not sure we're not really sure why he is so stressed all the time um because on occasion he you know he'll he's not he's not actually stressed I we don't really know what it is um but he's gotten a little bit better you know we've been working with him but it, you know in the whole many years that I've had him it's never really gotten better um oh you best stay I know I hear it. Our neighbors are bringing, finally, bringing their trash cans up. <laughs> and uh, he likes to bark at them when they do that. Um, and then my horse, the bad habit she has is that if you are scratching her in one of her favorite spaces um, and you stop, she will, like, walk in front of you so you can't leave. So she'll, like, keep blocking your way <laughs> so that you can't leave. Um, and it's kind of a funny, cute, bad habit, but it's, it's rude. <laughs> she shouldn't do that. Um, but yeah, it's not something that I really care to fix because she's not going to hurt you. Uh, she'll just walk in front of you. She won't let you, she won't let you leave. She'll just keep walking in front of you. Um, what is the best thing about your pet? Oh, what's the best thing about my pets? Um, I don't know that they're mine. <laughs> Uh, I would say the best thing about both of them is, I don't know, they're just, they're like my best friends. Um, I don't really have anything to say on that. I mean, there's so many good things about them that I don't know if I can choose. But I think the best thing about both of them is they're like, they're like my best friends. Um, you know, 
I feel like a lot of people feel that way about their pets. Um, what is the naughtiest thing your pet has ever done? <laughs> um, well, my horse, she has always been naughty, but I would say one of the naughtiest things she did was she threw my best friend off of her <laughs> and broke her reins, uh, which in turn, like, pretty much broke her whole bridle. But uh, that was naughty. I was all the way on vacation and I got a, a message from my friend with a picture. <laughs> she was like, I'm fine, but your reins and your bridle aren't. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that was, that was naughty. Um, and then my dog, I think the naughtiest thing he's, he's done was one day my mom came home. This was when we was still living with my parents, when we were both still living with my parents. Um, my mom came home and the kitchen trash was all over the floor of the kitchen he had gotten into the cupboard where the trash can was. And this was pretty early on when we had him. We, you know, we hadn't had him for too long. But he had gotten into that cupboard. And he pretty much tore up the trash can. And pulled all the trash out of the trash can all over the floor. <laughs> he was very sorry. But it was just, it was hilarious. She She took a video and uh, sent it to me and it was it was hilarious it was naughty it was not good but it was hilarious um and that kind of moves into the what is the funniest memory involving your pet I would say the trash situation was the funniest uh with my dog I just I that memory comes up on Facebook because she posted it on Facebook of course she posted it on Facebook she posted it on Facebook uh for all of her friends to see because it was hilarious um but it comes up on Facebook all the time, and I, I, I can't not laugh when I see the memory. <laughs> it's, it's just so funny. Um, and then my horse, the funniest memory, I don't really know. I don't think I have too many funny memories. Um, she's not really a funny horse. Um, there are other horses that I have funnier, like, funny memories of, but she's just, I don't know, she's just always been so good. For the most part. Um, so I don't really have a funny memory for her. But I do have an answer to the question, the next question. What's the best memory involving your pet? Um, and I think for my horse. The best memory. Involving my pet. Involving her. Is when my mom. Rode her for the first time. Um, my mom is not. like She knows what she's doing. Um, she grew up taking some lessons here and there, uh, and so she kind of knows, she, she for the most part knows what she's doing, but she's not advanced in any, in any form of the word. Um, and she, you know, I, I was a little worried because, you know, she's, my horse has been known to throw other people off of her and, you know, she can be a little bit of a handful, um. If you don't know what you're doing, she's not a beginner horse. That's, that's for sure. But my mom just got on, you know, walked around the ring, started trotting, trotting. She started trotting and, you know, she was awesome. My horse was awesome. And then all of a sudden my horse just breaks into this really nice canter. The slowest, the most calm canter I think I've ever seen my horse do my mom was like, what are we doing? And I was like, you're cantering. And she, you know, she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> she didn't know what she was doing. Um, and then she stopped and, you know, she was, she, she was so good. Um, so I think that's the best memory of my, my horse. Um, I don't know. I don't know about the best memory about, of, from like a, of my dog. Um, I have a lot of a lot of good memories. I want to say maybe one other funny memory of my dog because I just thought about another funny memory. So we have the best memory of my horse and then the funny memory of my dog um, also involves my mom. I feel like a lot of these involve my mother and I. Um, but oh, oops, sorry. Um, I was not home. <laughs> a lot of these I'm not home for. But she was playing with the dog in the backyard and he has a hard time sometimes stopping. Um, he 
he runs and then he can't stop himself <laughs> in time. And so they were playing. Um, she was throwing, throwing a ball or throwing something, a stick, I don't know. And he got it and he started running back towards her. And I don't think he actually could stop. <laughs> and she didn't know, like, she didn't realize that he wasn't going to be able to stop. So he just slammed into her. She fell over. <laughs> and he didn't understand. <laughs> he was like, why are you on the ground? Oh, it was so funny. She just, she told me this whole story afterwards. I just had a laugh. Like, just, he just, this big, you know, at that point he was probably about 60, 70 pounds. Maybe, maybe closer to 80 still. But, I mean, he's a big dog and he's just like barreling towards her. And like, well, why didn't you get out of the way? She was like, I didn't think he was going to run into me. <laughs> I just thought he might stop before he got here. I was like, Mom, he has a hard time stopping in a, like anywhere. He he runs into the fence line half the time because he can't stop. He's just barreling forward and can't can't stop himself. His momentum is too forward. <laughs> um, down one. Oops, gotta finish the stitch before I do that. Okay. Well, we have like a hair or something. Where? It's two up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down one. Um, okay. What is the hardest thing about being a pet owner? Um, I think the hardest thing when it comes to being pet owner in general I would say probably the hardest thing is having to deal with when they get older um, like with my horse she has already had to have some surgeries and things like that so she's you know getting up there in age and the hardest part is having to figure out like is she too uncomfortable to continue um, or do we need to you know think about arrangements um and things like that so I think that's probably the hardest part and I think a lot of people would agree um, because you just don't want to see your pet have to leave you right um so yeah I think that's the hardest part um what is the most rewarding thing about being a pet owner I think the most rewarding thing is just having that like that love that's never challenged uh, you know, they love you unconditionally, um, for the most part, um, you know, they, they, they get excited to see you, and it's funny, because horses are s s not the same as dogs at all, you know, they're not as excited to see you <laughs> when you get there, but she, I mean, she does, you, you know, she does know it's me, and she'll come over to me, and, um, she'll talk to me, uh, Winnie, at me and, and all that. So I think it's that love that never really goes away. They definitely know who their people are. Um, uh, what does, does your pet have a nickname and what is it? Uh, my dog does. Um, we call him Guppy. Like the fish. <laughs> I know. The tiniest fish ever. And, and he's like 80 pounds. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we call him Guppy. I don't know how that started, but that's, that's, that's it. That's what we call him. Um, and my horse, I, we don't really have a nickname for her because her name is so short. I mean, Jax is short too, but, um, I always called her just her name or I'd call her Girly. Come here, Girly. Um, so I'd say that maybe is a nickname, Girly. But I'd say it's better than like butthead because on occasion I'd call her butthead. I also call him butthead. So, you know, if they're doing something, something stupid. Um, but yeah, I don't really think I have a nickname, like a strong nickname for her. Um, but for him, yeah, definitely Guppy. We call him Guppy more often than we call him his own name. And then have you ever taught your pet any tricks? If so, what? Um, I mean, my dog, he, he knew a, a few things when he came to me, like sit, stay, you know, all of those. Um, for the most part, I haven't taught him anything really new. 
Um, other than what he kind of already knew, we've worked on the things he knows, so he's better at them. Like, he will stay pretty well, um, sit quickly, lay down, all those things. So, no, not really. I haven't taught him anything he didn't already kind of know. And then my horse, um, I taught her to bow um, and to give hugs. But again, not really... I wouldn't say like tricks in the normal sense of the word um, other than bow and hug. Those are the two I would say that I've taught her. Um, she probably can't bow anymore. I haven't really done it with her. She's a little older. She probably can't actually get to the point where she is able to get down like that and do a bow. But um, she used to be able to. So there's that. Um, and I think that's, yeah, that's the last question. So those are the two tags that I was going to do today. Um, I'm going to do one more stitch and then I think I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, I just need to get this color. And it's about an hour long video, so that's nice. Nice and long for you guys. And then next time um, I will do my true crime stitchy time video. So that will be next weekend um, that I'll do that. And then I'll keep switching um, back and forth between the two types of stitch with me's so that everybody has a little bit of something. <laughs> and then I'll keep doing my, obviously I'll keep doing my um, Wednesday videos. But yep, let me just get this last stitch in. And hopefully we're able to see this for the most part. Um, I know I know it can be a little hard to see sometimes, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it's kind of visible and you're all able to kind of see what I'm doing. Um, if I need to, I can switch the angle to the other side of my stitching. Um, but I don't really want to have to do that. It is what it is. But anyway, that's that. I'm going to head out now. Um, I'm going to keep stitching until, you know, Bill gets home and then we're probably going to go hiking. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you all, um, on Wednesday. I hope you have a great weekend, um, or week whenever you're watching this and I will talk to you fairly soon. Have a good one, everybody.